first title fight that's going to open the night. It is the vacant IBF lightweight world title fight. Uh, a lot of eyes will be on this fight, not just because of the, the talent of the two fighters involved, but there's been rumors, I don't know if it's been confirmed yet for sure, but the winner could be facing uh, Vasily Lomachenko in a unification fight. So, but first things first, they're focused on each other. Let's start now um, to talk to Issa Chania. Uh, Issa, 13 and one, six knockouts. This is the first time you're fighting in the United States. We have a translator? Thank you so much. Uh, how does it feel being here in the United States and getting to show your skills to the U.S. audience? Saying I'm very happy, I'm very pleased that I have a chance to uh, showcase myself, showcase my skills here in front of such a big arena on the ESPN. I'm ready for whatever and I'm here to win. Thank you so much. Uh, you've won three fights in a row since your only loss in May 2017. You get the call, you get the opportunity to fight for a world title uh, against Richard Comey here. What does it mean to you to get this opportunity at this point in your career, especially knowing what is on the line if you win this fight? Ты, у тебя было три победных боя после твоего единственного поражения в карьере. Ты сейчас настроен. Что для тебя значит этот бой с Коми и что он, что он тебе даст нового? Ну, я в этом бою, даже в этом бою я не проиграл. Но я скажу, что этот бой для меня самый главный. И я как никогда настроен на этот бой. И я как никогда готов к этому бою. Мы очень серьезно готовились, моя команда меня верит, я, я верю в себя, и все остальное не важно, мне остальные другие мнения мне не волнуют. Uh, I never lost the fight, the, the loss that I have on my record, I never lost that fight, so uh, I'm ready for this fight. I prepare as hard as never before, this is the most important fight in my life right now. And uh, my team trusts in, my, in me, uh, I trust in myself, and uh, other, other things are, doesn't matter to me. Lisa, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. If we can get everybody in the back just to turn... Shh, 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 shh. Please. Thank you so much. Thank you. These guys hit hard, but some of them are kind of soft-spoken, so I want everyone in the cameras to be able to pick up what you're saying here. Um, now to your opponent, uh, Richard Comey. Good to see you again. Uh, you're joined up here by your trainer, Andre Rosier. Uh, you're a Dibella Entertainment fighter. Who says top rank can work with other promoters? We've got Dibella. we got all kinds of co-promoters up here on this card and and Richard you get this opportunity to fight for a vacant world title because you earned the spot you're ranked number one uh, let's first ask Andre how your training camp went for this fight being that he's getting an opportunity once again to fight for a world title oh we've had a wonderful training camp uh, we are fortunate and uh, blessed enough to have elite fighters that were his sparring partners uh, from from Chris Algieri, uh, Curtis Stevens, Alex Vargas, uh, Saddam Ali. This was a fantastic group. And they encompassed Richard in a lot of hard work, but they always gave him the confidence to believe that he was going to be the IBF lightweight champion of the world. And he worked his butt off for it. And I think on Saturday night, everyone will see why this young man is special. Richard, did you think after the loss to Robert Easter, did you know you were gonna kinda have to put your nose to the ground and, and work hard? And, and, Cause I feel like you always sensed you would get your opportunity once again to fight for a world title. This is a, a dream come true for you to have a second opportunity. Yeah, definitely after Robert Easter fight, I still feel like I won that fight. So I keep working, uh, you know, my, my upper management. And then uh, I met Andre, so you know I felt like it's a whole thing for me. You know I got to do this, and you know I keep working at it. Yeah, I am today. Where you're from in Ghana, Accra, they have produced more world champions per capita than any other place in the entire world. 
what would it mean to you? I mean, you're talking about Azuma Nelson, you're talking about Claudia, you're talking about Ike Corley. What would it mean to have your name mentioned alongside the greats from Accra to be a world? This is the whole world for me. I mean, this is what I've been looking for. You know, this is the opportunity I've been looking for, for since I started boxing. And thank God, you know, I've got the opportunity to fight uh, come Saturday, you know. So definitely a win must be for me. You know, I have to win this fight. I have to win it, no matter what, I have to win this fight. That's, it means the whole love for me, you know. And um, I don't really know. I mean, it's all about winning, that's it. Have you studied any tape on it? I know he got to watch you fight Denis Shavakov. He was, he, Shavakov, he was there in person. Have you, have you seen him fight? Not really, I haven't seen him fight. That's your job, right, Coach? You watch the tape, right? <laughs> all right, well, we'll see them uh, get to throw in some leather on Saturday night in our opening bout on ESPN. Thank you very much. Thank you. We look forward to Saturday night. Uh, we'll